bag of Reese's. This is very nice. Starbucks, thank you guys. Twenty seven years of loyalty, not a day missed there for Kevin Ford, who works at a Burger King out in Nevada. Um, and he got a serious swag bag. As you saw all the things in there, that went viral a few weeks ago. People were talking about it. It went crazy, but there is an update and a bit more of a happy ending. As you saw, there's lifesavers and lanyards and ink pens. That's what he got. Uh, so there's details about what happened because this parent company, HMS Host, they did show their appreciation for his service by presenting him with this gift. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the movie ticket. <laughs> Sorry, there was a Movie ticket, in case you just want to take yourself to a movie. Starbucks cup, lifesavers, Reese's pieces, and other things into that clear back, uh, backpack to make sure that he can get into a stadium as well. So his daughter did jump in and say, you know, let's set up a GoFundMe for dad because he works really hard. And there's not much appreciation for him since he's getting some attention out for this horrific bag. So she wrote in this uh, their GoFundMe a text that he originally began working at his job as a single father when he gained custody of me and my older sister 27 years ago. Then as our family grew and, re and he remarried, he continued to work here because of the amazing health insurance that he was provided through this employer because it was unionized. Which got all four of his daughters through high school and college with full health coverage. Jesus, it is a good situation in Burger King. Uh, my dad continues to work to here because he does look young. He's coming up on retirement age and leaving would cost him his retirement. In no way are we asking for money or he's expecting any money. But if anyone feels like blessing him, we would love to visit. He would love to visit his grandchildren, which he also did do on, I believe, the Today Show. They invited him out. We don't have video of that, but he did get to see his grandchildren. Also, the big number here, because Ford said that the fund was originally aiming to raise something around 200 bucks, but it has since raised more than $270,000. And that's of June 30th, so it's probably even higher now. And even with all this money that's raised, Ford said he still has no plans to retire or take a day off. This is what's crazy to me, Brett. He says, you never know, it's day to day, but I haven't thought of anything to do with that money except to visit my grandkids for a while and maybe put up some for their college. But I'm not even thinking about that. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> working, man, <laughs> bro, I'm sorry. Um, I would not continue to be working, at least not for <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if they just gave you, if you got a lump sum of two hundred and seventy thousand dollars? What would Jr. do? Hmm. Buy a house well, I didn't know what bills are need to be paid. I would definitely be living in a, in, in a, I would upgrade a bit. I mean, depending where I live, you know, it's not tons of money in L.A. That's nothing. That's back to rent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that is. Uh, we watched Jiro Dreams of Sushi this weekend, and. Uh, He's like that. He's like, I wouldn't know what to do if I had a day off. I just like to work. I'm doing this. This is I pour myself into my job and work. Um, it's one of those things where it's like a, this whole thing is an inkblot test to see how you feel about other stuff and what you project onto it. Because when you first see that video, you see a guy who worked for 27 years and all he got was this stupid movie ticket. Like for 27 years, thank you. Then you find out that he was unionized. So he did have a good health plan that allowed him to fully like participate and in, 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 in make it through raising his kids and giving them a good thing. But like, then you realize he is happy working there. I'm glad that's the case, but it does give you a bunch of spots along the way to be like, all right, someone gives me $270,000, I'm taking a year off work. <laughs> At least <laughs> relax. But I mean, like yeah. you said, and maybe this is normalcy. Uh, really, uh, the last part of this, I don't have to read it, but uh, the parent company, I mean, the full company, uh, Burger King, as a friend, as a as a uh, entity and corporation itself, responded because people were at mentioning them saying, "What the hell, Burger King?" And they basically said, "Get off our backs." That was the franchise Z that gave them that. That wasn't <laughs> so right. 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 The uh, Madrigal Electromotive from Breaking Bad, the parent company that's just using it to run meth. <laughs> They're like, not us, bro. We'd have give him like three ink pens.